Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. It's time for you and me to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. You know, as the holiday season is approaching, there are many of your brothers and sisters in Christ who are experiencing very hard times. Some of those have contacted us with their situation and are asking for help, and we have placed their needs on the website at notaneedyperson.org. If you're not familiar with Not a Needy Person, it's an opportunity for people to submit their very real needs, have them assessed and vetted by our team, and then placed out there for you and others like you to be able to give toward meeting those needs. I know it can be difficult to know if a organization that's doing this kind of thing is trustworthy. I'm telling you, 100% of what you give goes to meet the needs. Please consider during this holiday season helping a brother or sister in need. Go to Not a Needy Person. Dot org. All right, we are looking at Psalm 43, verses 3 through 5 today, as we continue looking at what the scriptures say about joy. I thought this would be very fitting during the holiday season to think about joy, because we think of tidings of comfort and joy at the holiday season that come from Jesus. And the scriptures are full of descriptions of why we should rejoice and also reasons why we should rejoice. Let's look at Psalm 43, three through five. It says, send out your light and your truth. So David again is speaking to God and he says, God, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my exceeding joy. And I will praise you with the liar, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. Now, this is a very interesting set of verses, simply because it is David encouraging himself in the Lord. He's not waiting around for someone else to come and give him an encouraging word. He's encouraging himself, first off, through prayer, by reaching out to the Father and saying, Lord, send me your light. Send me your truth. Guide me into your presence. Show me what I can do to be closer to you. I want to come near to you. I want to come to you, God. And and the way he describes God is captivating to me. He says to God, my exceeding joy. friends." Can you say that God himself is your exceeding joy? Now, I know that that may sound like a foreign concept to many of us. What does that mean? God is my exceeding joy. Well, it means he is the thing. He is the one who you look to. And when you do, you are filled with joy more greatly than when you look at anything else. He is the thing you love the most. He is the thing you value the most. He is the one you treasure. And friends, I know that doesn't come naturally to our sin-sick hearts. We get so enamored with the world and we get stuck in stress and we get caught up in the ambitions of life. And Jesus himself warned us about those things, that those things can choke out the good work that God is doing in our lives. And so friends, we like David have to fight for this. We have to encourage ourselves in the Lord. Don't wait around for some podcast like this to encourage you. Do it for yourself every day. That's part of why the Morning Mindset exists, is to help you do that. But friends, take this seriously. Go to God. He wants to help you. He wants to draw you to himself and say, God, I want you to be my exceeding joy. I want to praise you with all that I am. Oh my God. And then like David, turn that around and speak to yourself. Not just to God. Speak to yourself. And look what David says. He says, why are you cast down? Oh, my soul. So you hear what he's saying? He's saying, hey, soul, hey, self, why are you discouraged? Why are you cast down? And he says, and why are you in turmoil within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my salvation and my God. So David is reminding himself that in spite of all the things going on in his life that can make him sad, can make him downcast, can make him feel like he's in turmoil, He still has a relationship with God, his exceeding joy. And he needs to place his hope there. That is where his deliverance, that is where his strength, that is where his joy will come from. 
O oh God, teach us as your people how to live like David did. Teach us how to ask you for light and truth, to guide us into your presence, and teach us how to encourage our own souls when we are cast down or in turmoil. Show us, remind us that you are our hope and give us the ability to turn away from the lies that would drag us down and turn to the God who will lift us up. Lord, we pray this because we know through Jesus we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. It's in your name we pray. Amen.